Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard, and today we got something new for you. Now uh, this is pretty cool, it's going to be another tutorial. So I'll start out by showing you guys what it is. Uh, right now we're on our bottom floor, we go through the nether and we have all of our nether rack there. But right around here, boom, this is what we're going to create guys. We're going to do, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to build this uh, piston elevator. So let's uh, give this thing a go and you guys can see how it works. As you can see it goes all the way up to the main floor and instead of uh, climbing the ladder I just decide to do an elevator. I've always wanted to do one of these so we'll take it for a ride up to the top side just like so and here we go we are at our main base now uh, we're going to be collecting some mobs, so um, I'll do that towards the end of the video because I know you guys enjoy seeing that and I know I enjoy uh, enjoy <laughs> killing a bunch of them and now that we're doing the potions it will help. So let's go through our quick drop again, right here, and we'll close the door and we're going to take this for another ride. Now this is not my original design, this is done by uh, Ethos Lab. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard of Ethos Lab, and he has some really cool designs. So does Docm. So I tend to use a lot of their designs. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. This elevator is really simple to do. So let's uh, jump over to the creative world because whenever I'm doing a tutorial, I always do it in the creative world. And I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we are back, and as you can see, we are back in the tutorial world. Um, done a bunch of projects here now the thing that's really cool about this elevator is it can it can use a 4x4 area so as you can see one two three four and one two three four now a lot of people always ask about the texture pack and I always have that in the description and DocM just recently updated the texture pack so uh, it's good to go for the new release now and we're gonna start this thing out we're gonna take a nap first so it's daytime and we will go from there. Alright, here we go. Now, uh, the thing that's pretty cool about it is, um, like I said before, it can be created in a 4x4 area. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw it on a pressure plate right there. Now, with the pressure plate, we're going to throw down a stair right next to it. DocM does a, does a tutorial on this also. And as I said, I'll put that in the description, so I'm not taking credit for this uh, creation by any means. But you throw down a stair there, and we'll take some glowstone, and we'll throw that right along the back side here. So this is going to be where we walk in. And then the pistons are going to push us up this way and all the way up to the top. So I'm not sure how tall we're going to quite make this yet. But uh, this is a good starting point. So from this point, what we want to do is we want to create a pattern um, that goes up for the redstone. So I'm going to uh, regroup quick, and I'm going to prep it a little bit just so, so we have a pattern to go by. So stay tuned. OK, we are back. And I figured I'd. Uh, get an idea quick just to uh, show you guys how this is set up. So we already placed on our glowstone, our pressure plate, our first stair. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw down a block here. It doesn't matter what block you use. Um, I always like using the brick and we're going to throw a piston right up on here. So what that piston is going to do is it's going to push us up this stair. So now we will work around the outside and we will take this and we'll throw down another stair right here if I can move out of the way enough here so we'll throw down another stair there now we want the um, wiring to basically go on top of the pistons so the the pattern works out in this sense you throw a block on top of the piston and then from that piston you move over one block here and one block there so the thing that's cool about this is this is the pattern that we will use all the way up. So we'll throw down another piston here and then we'll throw down another block right on top. We'll go out another spot right on the outside of the piston and we'll throw down another one here. Now um, from there we just throw down another piston 
like so. And this is going to be our trail going all the way to the all the way to the top. So you can repeat this as much as you'd like. Oops, I fell down there. Why ain't I flying? There we go. That makes sense. Boom, boom. Spin around. And this fly mode sucks because it just keeps on moving once you let go of the button. So we'll go up again. Throw down another block. Block, block. Turn around. Piston. Right here. Go up a little bit more. Block. Block, block. And another piston. And you want to make sure that the pistons are always pointing towards the inside. Um, like I mentioned before, Doc did a pretty good job of explaining this tutorial, but I wanted to show you guys because in case... Um, I know you guys have been liking my tutorials lately, so I figured what the heck I'd do another one because it's a pretty simple idea. It's it's a very simple idea. It's pretty compact from what I from what I can tell. It's pretty compact. It can fit within that four by four area, which is really nice. And the the redstone is not all that tricky to wire, so it's it's pretty cool. And that's what basically this path is doing that we're creating. This path is just creating our redstone path all the way to the top. Oops, went a little bit too high there. Another block, block, block. And you just keep on repeating this process as high as you'd like to go. And we'll do one more here. And then I will, uh, I'll cut the video quick and I'll build the rest of the way up because I think this gives you guys a pretty good idea of the uh, pattern that we're using. And the thing that's nice about this pattern also, come on, quit moving so much. The thing that's nice about this pattern is it's, you know, it just keeps on repeating. And it's really easy. It makes it uh, really nice for um, doing the wiring. So if I can go down on here like this. So it's always going to be a too high area that you can just walk through and do the wiring for. So I'm going to continue prepping this thing up and um, I'll show you guys uh, when I get to the top and we will go for the wiring there. So guys, stay tuned and I'll see you shortly. All right, guys, we are back and I was watching the videos through again um, and I'm going to put some annotations in. But I apologize, the uh, tutorial I was referring to was uh, Ethos, not DocM's. But uh, when I know I said it a couple of times, I said DocM, but I was supposed to say Ethos. So I'll throw those annotations into the uh, screen once I upload this. So now we are just going to move on with the uh, building of this. Okay, so for the wiring aspect of it, what we want to do is we want to go down here and put down some redstone. So we have the pressure plate right there. And we want to throw the redstone right next to the pressure plate. So if we if we bring the redstone in like this, and we'll bring it out the, uh, uh, yeah, I think we can, do you want to go out this way? Yeah, that works. So we'll bring the redstone out this way, and we want it to go into, um, right into here. So let's just bring another block here and a block there that should work let's see here so this should go right into there all right and it does so um, what we want to do here is we're going to repeat the pattern of this as well um, for the wiring this was just the start to so when we step on the pressure plate now it should activate the redstone which it does as you can see that thing opened up um, so we're just going to move up to the wiring part of this and the first key to do is instead of having redstone right here we want to throw down a um, repeater and we want to set this repeater to 4 so we want to set the repeater all the way back because what that's going to do is when we walk in it's going to give the piston time it's going to give you time to walk in and then also push you get settled in because you don't want to touch any uh, move the mouse or touch any uh, buttons while you're going up this so it does a little delay of four pushes up to this stair okay now to continue the wiring around this now this process is also going to repeat so we're going to go 
redstone, redstone, around the corner, repeater. And with these repeaters, you want to you want to set them at two. So um, again, we'll go redstone, redstone, repeater into this block, and set it back one. So redstone, redstone, repeater, set it back one. And we're going to continue this wiring all the way to the top side of it. Um, the reason that we throw the tick in there is so um, it has time to react because you don't want them to fire off too soon and then uh, let yourself leave stuck. And um, it's also a good way to uh, troubleshoot, which um, Ethos explains very well in his tutorial, which I said I'll, I'll, where I got the idea from was him, and I'm going to throw uh, the link to his channel in here as well. Um, I know I've said that a few times now, but um, we're just going to keep on throwing down this redstone all the way to the top. So I will, uh, I'll finish wiring this thing up to the top, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, we are back and I'm almost to the top here. So I'll throw it on our last repeater right here, set it at one tick. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, build our stairs going um, up to the top. So we'll just uh, drop down the center here, right there. And the, uh, the easiest way to do this um, is you could use um, any block that you'd like to right here um, but we're gonna throw down I'm just gonna grab dirt because uh, well I suppose yeah I'll grab dirt that way you guys can really tell the difference um, on what's uh, staying and what's going so here we go we got uh, the stairs and we're gonna go stairway here go up one we're gonna throw down a dirt block Throw the stair on top of that dirt block, like so. Throw down another dirt block. And we're just going to keep on repeating this uh, process up to the top as well. So I, I'm not going to sit here and uh, show you guys the whole thing, because uh, I think you guys can get pretty much the idea of how this works. But um, I will come back once we have all of our uh, stairs placed. And we will move on to the next step of the process. So stay tuned, guys. Hey, guys, we are back. So now that all of our stairs are placed, we can go down and uh, get rid of all this dirt that we placed. So we have a, uh, a two-way place to, um, you know, two high areas so we can fit up and down the stairs. Because as you can see with the dirt there, you can't fit. So we'll just remove all this dirt. And from this point, this should take care of the wiring, and it should take care of the pistons. Um, so we will test that out um, real quick here, just to make sure it brings us all the way to the top without any issues. And we would, can take it from there. Oops. Whoa. Got stuck. So that's not what I wanted to do. All right, guys. So here we go. Here's our first test. All the wiring's down. We step on the pressure plate and hopefully everything will work out swell. So let's see. And yes, it does. Here we go. We're at the top of it. So yeah, that's definitely cool. Now, um, the next step that we can do um, is you don't need to have all this uh, redstone on the corners. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, replace it with solid blocks just to pretty this thing up so from this point we're just gonna take out the redstone and we're gonna remove all the blocks all the way down almost all the way down we'll get to the very bottom here like so and I went one too far but uh, right here and I'll turn off flying and now we'll just build a solid a solid um, block all the way up to the top. Um, the reason we can do this is because the redstone's just going into the block, which then powers the the redstone's going directly into the block. So then that powers the repeaters. So we can do this on all four corners. Um, you probably could have done this before, but um, it just makes it easier to wire it up and then go back and fix it 
in my opinion. So do we have another spot down here? Yes, we do. So we'll get rid of this. We'll get back on the platform. And we'll bring up these walls as well. Oops, flick that one too many. That was a mistake on my part. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so then once we have that part done, we can go to the other corners and do the same thing on all the corners. Which I can keep on film here. That should be just fine. Because it doesn't take too long to do. And then you guys can get a an idea of what it looks like and what we're doing. Is that high enough? Well, let's go up one more there and one more here. And we'll do it on the fourth corner as well. And what this is doing is it's just going to it's just going to make it look nicer. You don't have to do this step, but uh, you know it's it's to your discretion. So um, if you'd like to have the step in there, keep it in there. If not, that's okay too. So we'll go uh, down to the bottom here and we'll test it out again. And we can finish off throwing down these blocks just to finish the um, pillar effect on all the sides except for this side because um, you don't want to uh, we can throw you don't want to cut off the signal here so we don't want to go right there we can go down just on top of it you know what I mean so we can go down one more space here and that should keep the power still fine so that part is that and now we'll take another ride just to make sure that the thing's still working so we'll walk in here oh did i cut off the power someplace i might have cut off the power someplace yeah i probably cut off the power someplace did that do it let's see here Why is that not working? Seems to be a bit strange. Oh, this is what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. So I took out this redstone there and shouldn't have. That's okay, mistakes happen. We can fix it. There we go, rides all the way up to the top. Pushes it out to the top level here. And that's awesome. So um, now what we can do is we can uh, go back and we can fill in the, uh, the rest of this tower. Now um, the way that seems to work pretty decently is you throw down um, a block right above the repeaters and then throw another block above the redstone and then you can just throw in glowstone in this corner. So what this does is it gives us the opportunity to have um, an entirely lit, um, an entirely lit uh, elevator, pretty much. So we can throw that down there, and it's not affecting it's not affecting the wiring. So that's definitely a plus. Throw down that to like so. But I'm gonna finish um, filling in this, and then I can show you guys the outside. But uh, I wanted to show you guys this part just so you guys have an idea of what I'm doing. And there's a lot to fill in here, so I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, we are back. And um, the way that I finished this off in my other one is I just threw, um, I did a little platform here. But up on the main floor, I, I threw in a half slab. That way it just kind of, uh, when you walk off, you're not falling into where the repeater is right there so you know if you if you walk in here you can fall down on the repeater so I just threw in a half slab there 
and you can have half slabs along the outside here to hide that other red stone or do whatever whatever you feel um, like doing for that part of it okay guys so this it pretty much takes care of the tutorial so let's take a look from the down the, from the bottom side here just to give you guys an idea what it looks like there we go as you can see um, it just kind of skips every every other one so you have glowstone then you have a repeater glowstone repeater and then on the piston side it's like piston redstone piston redstone so guys this um, this is how this one works oh and we should probably we can change the floor here too why not so we're just gonna replace that with some brick as well and that will give us a nice little entry so now I need to find that uh, pressure plate again pressure plate where are you okay maybe I'm scrolling through fast there we go there's the pressure plate we'll get rid of that thing and we will throw down the pressure plate right there and that should take care of our elevator so let's go ahead and take this for another ride you walk in let go of everything and you just let it take you on way to the top so guys uh, please let me know if you have any questions um, if you guys would like to see some more tutorials like this uh, please let me know I was gonna do a cool build with it but um, I figured I'd do it in the let's play um, in the let's play world so uh, let's go back to our main level and let's take care of some baddies all right guys we are back and to close this out let's uh let's uh kill some uh some baddies because uh, we got our potions now so we uh will wait for a few more to collect up top let's see how many we got we have 76 up there that's halfway decent so we're gonna open up the floodgates here and have them all drop down there we go now let's throw in a uh, splash potion and go crazy still dropping here we go <laughs> oh that's so much fun to do oh we need to get out of this view we need to get out of that view There we go. <laughs> oh boy. We can turn off the floodgates. We'll go back to regular view here. And let's collect our goodies. Let's walk in here. And how good of a haul did we get? Well, we got another stack of bones and a little bit. Arrows. Almost two stacks little meat we got like five so that's not too bad that's not too bad so guys I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, please leave me some comments let me know what else you guys would like to see and uh, I will see you guys next time this is pool shark wizard and thank you very much for watching bye bye